Hello friends, hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help financial professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exams to clear their exam in the first attempt. Now the FRM exams, level 1 exams have been just completed. Okay, a lot of students have already gone through a lot of grill and all of it. And a lot of students are expecting that they will clear the exam. Now for those students who want to, don't want to waste their time, okay, for them this video is going to be important. Okay, they can start their preparation for FRM level 2. Okay, why? I, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about few of the chapters from FRM level 1, which are connected to your FRM level 2. And you can start just revising those chapter again, so that when you start your FRM level 2 prep, you'll be in a slightly better situation. Okay, so first of all, do not waste your time for people. Okay, even though the results are not out, you can still go ahead and revise these chapter from your FRM level 1, which can give you an edge for level 2 when you clear the exam. Or if not, then you can at least you have revised some chapters from your level 1 for your next attempt. Now with this, let us start going through each book by book and try to understand which are the important chapters which are connected to your FRM level 2. Now from book 1, which is your foundation of risk management, from that modern portfolio theory is very, very important. And arbitrage pricing theory is very important because there, there is a book, entire book, uh, investment management and risk management. That book in the first chapter and the further chapters, it is dependent on what has been given in your capital asset pricing model, what has been discussed about efficient frontier and also about pharma French and the arbitrage pricing theory. So if you want to read that book in your FRM level 2 properly, which is the investment management and the risk management book, you should focus on these two chapters properly. Okay, so that is why these two chapters are connected to your FRM level 2. Okay, there's also one more chapter which is Anatomy of the Great Financial Crisis. Now, in level 2, a lot of chapters combined, they have been discussing about what has happened in your level, in your Great Financial Crisis. That means 2007 and 8 crisis. So, having a good understanding of this chapter gives you an edge in the sense that you will be able to connect a lot of dots when you read those chapters in your FRM level 2. So from book three, book, book one, these three chapters are primarily connected to your level two. Let us go to book two now. Book two, which is quantitative analysis. Now, my friend, my dear friends, uh, for level two, there is no direct statistics that is being tested in your curriculum. But what, what I am looking out over here is that there are certain chapters, certain concepts which can get repeated in terms of understanding in your level two. So this chapter is important from that perspective because the common univariate chapter, the discussion on T distribution, discussion on normal distribution, log normal distribution is very, very connected to your level two preparation. Okay. The next two chapters, which is your hypothesis testing and regression diagnostic. Now, why is this important? Because the basic basic idea about how, how hypothesis is actually done is should the student should be aware about this wherein where he, they will reject the null hypothesis where they will fail to reject the null hypothesis what is a p uh, ratio what is the p uh, test what are the different uh, tests that they do to assess the mean assess the standard deviation and all of that has to be clearly understood by the student because in level 2 in some of the chapters they have directly gone and done the hypothesis testing they have also gone and done regression okay so where when you go and read those chapters if you have a good understanding about hypothesis testing and the regressions basics, especially the regression diagnostic, then it will be easy for you to read those chapters properly. Also, simulation and bootstrapping. Now, in level two, a lot of in a lot of chapters, they have they have been talking about Monte Carlo simulation, okay, in detail to run a model, to talk about the uh, good part about the model, the bad part about the model. So all of this becomes very easy for you to understand if you at least understand the simulation part of this chapter. So from book two. These four chapters are kind of connected to your level two, direct connection to your level two. So please make sure that you revise them properly. Let us go to the next chapter, next book, which is your financial markets and products. Now in level two, they're not directly testing you on the basics of the knowledge about the product. For example, then they will not expect you to ask questions related to what is an option, what, what is the payoff of an option? No, it is expected that you will know all of these options and futures part in detail. Okay, that's the reason I've directly only taken trading strategy as a means to cr cross check and verify entire concept of your option. Because if you know these chapter, then your all previous chapter kind of uh, clear. So if you should read this chapter properly for your FRM level two, because wherever the discussion of 
option comes into picture this is very very important then there is a chapter on fund management why i picked up because there is one chapter explicitly in your risk management investment management where they are going to be talking about hedge funds and this chapter also talks about hedge funds and their strategy so it helps you to connect those chapters easily mortgage and mortgage backed security again it is connected to securitization concepts so in uh, level 2 in your creditors book there are around five chapters which has a base of securitization if you are good in this chapter of mortgage and mortgage backed security then your level 2 concepts will be slightly better swaps again in level 2 there are chapters where they are discussing about interest rate swaps and correspondency swap and if you have a content clear on these two topics then the level 2 will become easy so from the level 2 perspective there are four topics which you can revise properly before you start your frm level 2 preparation the last book which is the valuation and the risk model topic this is this book is very very important for your level 2 because lot of the topics are straight forward you'll see that happening on coming in a, in your level 2 first of all the measure of financial risk very very important because this gives you the basics of your var and expected shortfall and if you start the market risk chapter market risk book the first three four chapter itself are connected to your var they're talking about var back testing of the var var mapping okay what is the estimation of your market risk measure which is var they are giving you the basics also but if you are done with the measure of financial risk chapter it becomes easy for you to pick up these chapters in the for the level 2 okay internal and external rating credit rating part there is a specific chapter on rating assignment methodology which talks about how rating agencies are creating models to create their rating so this will give you some basic idea about that and especially the rating uh, transition matrix that will also be uh, again repeated in your level 2 operational risk there is a specific book with around 25 chapters on operational risk so when you read this chapter you will be able to connect back a lot of things from those 25 chapters across that has been repeated so i would suggest you definitely not to miss the operational risk chapter again measuring credit risk is important for your exam perspective for level 2 why because this chapter is explicitly connected to your credit risk and in level 2 you have a credit risk measurement and management book which has around around 18 to 16 chapters so if you are good on this this topic then those topics related to expected loss unexpected loss will become slightly easy stress testing is an important chapter now in level 1 we had only one chapter explicitly talking about it and this was the intention of giving you this chapter was an introduction of stress testing but in level 2 you will find stress testing been discussed in like in your liquidity risk it is also been discussed in your credit risk in your market risk everywhere you will find the discussion or related to stress testing or scenario analysis so make sure that you have at least clear on those basics okay dv01 uh, and duration and convexity duration and convexity as a measure to hedge will also be tested again back in your level 2 but with the cons- with the with the understanding of hedging not with the calculation perspective how you can make your portfolio more duration hedged okay also dv01 as a concept is again going to get tested in your market risk book so please make sure that you are clear on that logic binomial tree the very very important chapter there are three four chapters which talks about the basics of creating a tree okay even though the concept might not be same okay but the approach that they are go- that we have learned in level 1 it is similar to the same approach the way we create the tree to value an option okay so these are the uh, chapters from your book four which is valuation and risk model which you should read before you start your level 2 journey and for, from the level 2 perspective i'm repeating again book four is very very important so do not miss it i've just tried to give you few important chapters that can help you to enhance your preparation for level 2 now if you guys like my videos okay do subscribe to my channels which are there you can reach out to me on whatsapp there are a lot of free materials which are there in my telegram channel okay for frm level 1 and level 2 also for students uh, if they want to uh, create a free plan they want they want a free study tracker to prepare for both frm level 1 and level 2 they can reach out to me over here and there is an frm update chapter where i keep on posting content related to the exam uh, some announcements and all of that so please make sure that you uh, you join this telegram channel and we can reach out to me on my whatsapp number which is given over here and i'm actively posting content for youtube and linkedin and instagram so do subscribe to my network and get to know whenever i come out with any video okay thank you very much guys for watching this video